Is this gonna ruin my hair? Is it? It's definitely how the professionals do it, right? Are you ready for the reveal? Hey friends, it's Sarah. Welcome to or back to my bathroom. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy it. We are going to be dyeing or attempting to dye my very dark hair, the red or burgundy color, but without using any bleach and 100% at home by myself. I have actually dyed my hair red before. I'll pop up some pictures on the screen here, but my hair was already bleached a little bit. It already had highlights, so We'll see how this one goes. Before we get into this video, if you like me, if you like my face, if you like my vibe, if you like that I'm down to try anything for the camera, then you should definitely subscribe to my channel. I just got back from Sally's Beauty Supply. Keep in mind, I am definitely not a professional and this is not a tutorial. I will link some videos that I watched down below of some girls who had similar hair color to me and what they use because that is what has informed what I bought. So for developer, I got the Ion Sensitive Scalp Color Brilliance 30 volume. I will link everything that I use down below in case you want to try this out for yourself. For my actual color, I'm going to be mixing the L'Oreal High Color Highlights for dark hair only, the red shade, and then also the magenta shade. Did I say that I got two of each? Four total? I got a clear mixing bowl, a little brush, a color remover. I did get my hair glossed in May. She said that it's most likely all washed out now. So I got a color removing wipe for like aftercare. I got the John Frieda Radiant Red Red Boosting whoop, Shampoo and the matching conditioner. And then the lady at Sally's also recommended I do like a protein treatment. So I got the Ion Repair Solutions Foaming protein treatment. And I also have gloves, so we're gonna be using that. I'm gonna go watch a tutorial real quick, and then let's get started. Welcome to my bathroom floor. So I'm watching this tutorial from this girl named Romance, and she has 11,000 subscribers, but this is like such high quality content. I'm like, girl, this video has like almost 900,000 views. I'll link it down below, and I'll link her down below, because she looks mom as fuck, and her shit is really helpful, so. The person at Sally's did say that I should do a test strand, and I don't really want to do that, but I feel like I probably should, huh? So according to Romance, it is two parts developer for one part hair color. Okay, just because it says not to, like, let it sit for too long, I'm just going to measure out a tiny amount. I guess it's not that tiny. Half a tablespoon of magenta. Okay, so definitely, like, darker. See how this one's like more bright and this one's a little darker. I think I spent like $90 on all supplies for this, which is a lot, but a lot of this stuff is like bulk amount of stuff. So it'll last me a long time. And also it will be way more expensive at a salon because they'd probably do it right. <laughs> okay, so since we did one half tablespoon, half tablespoon, that's one tablespoon. So we do two tablespoons of this developer what we got so far this is so fun we're going with this strand now so the tutorial didn't really say like how long to wait to do the root part but definitely to start at the bottom so that's what we're gonna do i'm scared hopefully this turns out well i really don't want hot roots i really don't want that i'm not claiming that energy right now Meh. confirmed the color is red. I think I'm just gonna do it with my hands, guys. Is that bad if I do that? I think I'm gonna wait like 10 minutes to see what this does, and then I guess I'll put it up into my hairline, like the roots, and then wait another 20. I kinda lost track of time, but it's definitely been 10 minutes, I think. We're gonna do the roots, and this is what it's looking like. I really should have put it on a timer. I thought that to myself, and then I didn't do it. Um, Fuji roots. Okay, here's what we're working with. I am gonna set a timer for 20 minutes and then we're gonna rinse this out. And then we'll see what happens. I'm excited, this is fun. We're on the iPhone cam now, friends, just to see how this goes. Oh my lord, this is such a process, the bug. <laughs> is it red? Is this better? Ah, it's everywhere. <laughs> Do I have to shampoo it? Is that like the law? Okay, well that 
didn't get any of that out. <laughs> Would it just be easier to get in the shower? It might. Oh my god, is that just a hot root? Or does that just die? I don't know what to do. I should just probably get in the shower. Not gonna lie, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> this is so fun. My hair's wet right now because I just rinsed half of it out in the shower. Do I need to use a color remover? Should this color be coming down here? Cause it's not. I think I'm gonna blow dry this part of my hair. My hair is blow dried. So this is what we're working with. I like the color down here. I do feel like it's a little light up here. So I'm thinking maybe I should do a color remover. I just called Sally's and they said to use the color remover. Is this gonna ruin my hair? Is it? Is it? Can you tell me? Can you let me know before I do this? That'd be great. I'm scared. I'm freaking out. For the color remover, I used Color Fix from Sally's Beauty and I only used step one and two because that's what the lady told me to do with Sally's. I applied it all over my hair and then waited 20 minutes while it processed in a shower cap before rinsing it out in the shower. Here's the tea. I just showered and took the color remover out of my hair and I don't know if that did anything. I still have red in my hair right here. Now I'm gonna let my hair dry. I'm gonna clean all of this and let my hair dry and eat and just like take a break because I'm overwhelmed. I calmed down a little bit. I was not calm. Now we're calm. I did do the color remover. As you can see, it turned it orange. So that works. The roots are still very red. I'm gonna blow dry my hair because it's still a little damp. I do kind of want it a bit darker, so I might try to use more of the magenta than the red. This is pretty bright, but hopefully, since my hair is so dark, it won't be this bright. But if it is, it's not the end of the world, right? I'm just going to send it. Again, I just kind of want to use my hands. I feel like that would just be better for everyone involved. And again, I'm gonna leave the roots until the end. I'm literally not even looking in a mirror right now. Oh shit, it's in my eye. The fumes are in my eyes. Okay. I hope the color remover worked. Fuck, those fumes, bro, are in my eyes. I'm gonna, oh god. Okay, I'm gonna turn a light on and then I'll do a voiceover if I have anything interesting to say. How about that? Because I, my eyes, mm -mm, can't do it right now. So to apply the dye, I started with the underneath section, not the part that I did a test strand on. And then I went over the test strand and as you could see, this dye didn't necessarily smell bad, but it like stung like peppermint oil. It was very strange. So then I moved on to the top section and again, I was avoiding the roots this entire time just because I don't want the roots to turn out super bright and then the rest of my hair super dark. This application process kind of took a while and it was very messy as you can see. I would highly suggest if you do this to cover every inch of your bathroom unless you don't want your deposit back. <laughs> I was going to keep this on for like two minutes but my head is burning and I don't want my roots to go insane. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash it off now. Okay, hello. I just got out of the shower and from what I can see so far, bitch, a whole new personality. I need to do this foaming protein rebuilder from Ion, but you have to do it on like towel dried hair. Can I use cuticle trimmers to cut this? Hopefully. Ooh. Just a small amount, but my hair feels disgusting right now. It smells good. It smells really good. Weird, but okay. My poor scalp is like, lady, what are you doing? It's kind of bomb though, doesn't it? Ooh. But is this black still? Stay tuned to find out. And it looks like this, which is kind of fucking hot. So, right? So hot. <laughs> if this did work though. Ooh, bitch, Sean is gonna love this. Okay, friends, it is many hours since we started this journey. Are you ready for the reveal? I am, I can see the roots. I'm excited, but we know how the roots went before, so let's see. Oh shit. Well, that's definitely red. I'm not mad at it. I'm actually, like, I like it, that's cute. Bitch, that's cute, that's hot. I am worried 
that it's not even and when it dries that'll be very obvious okay battery is dying that's probably my sign to leave it be for now i'll see you in the morning when it's dry and we can give the final update let me know what you think down below okay bye the next morning okay are you ready for the grand reveal go three two one it's coming don't worry there she is okay here's my hair the final product of dyeing it red from black without pre-bleaching it what do we think hi i'm currently editing this footage it's a couple days later and looking back at it i'm realizing how poorly my foundation matches why is it green and gray i don't know but we're working on it thanks for sticking around okay i never wear makeup but i feel like in order to get the full effect of any hair transformation you just have to do your makeup just to feel the entire vibe and let me tell you i kind of like this vibe what be honest be honest don't let me what do we think i do like it do i love it not sure yet i feel like i want to go over it with like one of those coloring conditioner toner things like from overtone or from like brad mondo's line do you think that would help make it more even because there's definitely some spots especially like in the back like this part that are very much tinted red but not dyed red so i straightened my hair for this like reveal and i feel like i don't know how to straighten my hair because i feel like when my hair is this length when i straighten it it just always looks kind of odd i will say this when i woke up this morning and was getting ready to film this outro my hair did not feel the healthiest. I like doused it in heat protectant and dry shampoo to give it more of like a gritty texture because I like that when I straighten my hair. Like there's the, on the scale of things, indifferent being in the middle, hating it being on the end, and then loving it being on the other end, I'm like middle of the road. Not like, oh my god, this is my new thing, but not hating it. But I kind of do like it. It's kind of fun. If you want like a how I maintain my red hair routine, let me know and I can share with you what I've learned. All right, friends, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and you haven't given it a thumbs up yet. You should definitely do that. It helps me out a lot. I would really appreciate it. Let me know what kind of beauty or hair content you want to see next. That is what I post most on this channel because it is what you want to see most so let me know if i should dye my hair a different color what viral beauty trend you want me to try out next i'm really game for anything as you can tell <laughs> all right that's all from me i'll see you next week